Well, how best to make a ground mount? I don't have all the parts that the original manufacturer recommended. If you haven't seen my previous videos, the reason I'm building a solar ground mount array is so that I can charge my DIY power wall with these Chevy Volt batteries. The Z channel is 16 foot 8 inches long. I have 35 pieces. 5 inch pipe with an eighth inch wall is 12 feet long. I have six of these pieces. And then I've got a couple of legs. The original manufacturer's plan called for these to be the front legs and they would support the uh, round pipe on top of it and a U-bolt would go through. These would be the front, the short ones. These would be the rear, the tall ones. You can see they're quite a bit taller than me. But the original manufacturer called for two in the rear and two in the front for every 40 foot pipe. Now these pipes are only 12 feet long that I have so I would have to weld those together and make that weld strong enough. Now the other difficulty is that the ends of these don't have any kind of foot on them. They were originally designed to be placed on top of a ground screw. Uh, they're proprietary systems and in order to get somebody out uh, they require big money. But there's additional parts that I don't have. The manufacturer no longer sells this particular kit. Uh, so instead of trying to make this uh, ground mount array work in the exact same way that it was originally intended, I think I'm going to try something different. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, and share. So as you might recall from my previous videos of building these systems, this is ballasted out of pallets. I did level the feet across, but we have a triangular shape, a place to place the ballast, uh, and this is very stable, very low to the ground. This has been working out well, at least for the six months that it's been up so far. <laughs> no problem. One of the reasons I like this system is that it's temporary. I plan on taking these panels with me when I move to the next property. Let's see if we can't come up with something for using all of this steel, this ground mount steel, but in a ballasted, more temporary situation. I went ahead and I made a drawing just for you guys. I'm not used to making drawings for my projects. I'm used to just thinking them up and then going out and building them. Here's my plan. I'm going to cut the Z channel in half, which gives me eight foot legs. Uh, that means that I get two legs of the triangle out of every piece of Z channel. Then I'll have the five inch pipe going across two on the bottom which are kind of like the um, the footers and then one across the top which is what I can attach the solar panels and that will give me the ability uh, to actually tilt this based on the season which is something I haven't done before so I think it'd be a lot of fun to make a tilting array six of them in landscape would wind up being about 13 feet by 10 feet so I would actually need two of these lined up side by side, which would wind up being about 26 feet long in the backyard. Here's a model of my idea. So we'd have the triangular shaped frame built out of that Z channel. These two kind of pontoons for the base, they would be that five inch galvanized pipe, along with this guy would be that big five inch galvanized pipe. The solar panels could tilt for the different times of the year, which, I just, I've never done that before. I haven't built a tilting array, and I think that'd be a lot of fun. And this whole thing could be done without having to get an excavator uh, and pouring a bunch of concrete. Uh, so, and it's temporary, and when I'm done, I can unbolt it, and I can take it with me to the next property. So let me know what you guys think. Is this a good idea? 